Il est midi, vous écoutez Rins France. Du 8 au 10 novembre, Rins France est de retour à Saint-Etienne pour le positif éducation. Le festival le plus pointu de l'Hexagone accueille cette année Laurent Garnier, Marcel Detman, Sopfoire, Voiski, Simocel et beaucoup d'autres. Plus d'infos sur Rins.fr. Louise Chen, vous êtes avec Louise Chen. Euh, Aujourd'hui, mon invité c'est Spencer Parker. Today, my guest is Spencer Parker. He was playing concrete until 9 a.m., so he's going to join me on the second hour. Il a joué à la concrète hier soir jusqu'à 9 h du matin. Du coup, il va me rejoindre pour la deuxième heure. Il a ramené quelques tracks. On va en parler un petit peu. On va, on sera posé, on sera assis. Et en attendant la première heure, je vous fais un petit mix. Bisous. So I'm going to be DJing in the mix for an hour and then Spencer's going to join us and we're going to sit down and talk techno. See you later. Thanks.
Jazzy tune, it is brunch time after all. Pour l'heure du brunch, un peu de jazz. Hein? Allez.
on l'a fait. Coucou maman Hey everyone, you're still with Louise Chen, except now Spencer Park is here in the studio with me. Vous êtes toujours avec Louise Chen, Spencer Parker vient de me rejoindre au studio. On va parler un petit peu de sa soirée d'hier, pourquoi il est à Paris, de son nouvel album qui est sorti il n'y a pas très longtemps. Et puis ensuite, on va faire un petit back-to-back -back pour la dernière heure. So we're just about to sit down with Spencer. We're going to have a little chit-chat, talk about his uh, new album and why he's in Paris. Big mystery. Um, and then we'll just go back to back for the last hour. So sit tight. Thanks. Bonjour Spencer. Hello, hello. What brings you to Paris? Tell me all. Well, last uh, an aeroplane. No, last <laughs> night um, I was invited to uh, curate a night of concrete by uh, the guys there, which was um, a lot of fun. So I invited uh, Nari Fisher and Anthony Naples, Gerd Janssen and Mr. Dan Beaumont. So we all played last night across the wood floor in the main room. And uh, yeah, it was a great, great party. Good fun. What time did you finish at? Uh, about two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> je, vous, je vous fais une petite traduction rapide. Spencer est venu à Paris parce que euh, les gars de la Concrète lui ont proposé de curater sa soirée hier soir, où il a invité donc Anthony Naples, Gerd Janssen, Dan Beaumont, euh, Nari Fasher. Yeah, yeah Nari that's Fischer. It. Um, and Anthony Naples. And Anthony Naples. Um, et il vient de finir de jouer à 9h ce matin, donc il y a quelques heures. Donc il vient de me rejoindre dans le studio. Um, how was it? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I started out, I played on the wood floor, um, just playing disco for a couple of hours, and then back to back with Dan Beaumont, and then he finished, he played like four hours on the wood floor. Um, and then Nari Fisher started downstairs and she played amazing um anthony naples is one of my favorite djs to listen to so he was up next uh all killer no filler and then um mr gerd jansen who again is one of my favorite djs i think the first time i ever met and played with gerd was the first time i played panorama bar which was uh, for a records party like nine years ago so i've known him a little while Lovely guy, killer DJ. So yeah, it was um, you know, it was nice to curate a night and in invite people that I, I love and respect, you know. So yeah, it was a really, really fun night, really good. Donc je lui ai demandé euh, comment s'était passée la soirée. 
Il m'a raconté, donc euh, il a commencé euh, sur le wood floor avec Dan Beaumont. Ensuite, Dan Beaumont a continué euh, son set euh, pendant 4 heures sur le wood floor. Puis Nari Fasher a commencé en bas, a fait un bête de set. Tout le monde a fait un bête de set. Anthony Naples est un de ses DJ préférés. Et Guardian Sun aussi. Et pour la petite anecdote, il me racontait que il a, la première fois qu'il a joué et rencontré Guardian Sun, c'était sa première fois au Panorama Bar. Euh, pour une soirée Rekids il y a 9 ans donc ça fait un moment qu'ils se connaissent euh, et il disait donc que c'était euh, super cool de pouvoir euh, inviter euh, ses DJ préférés et ses amis finalement à venir jouer avec lui à la concrète So you also have other news um, as far as I remember you've released an album uh, Yeah, I've just uh, finished my second album which is out now um Three, limit, three limited vinyl samplers. Uh, there is a CD coming, but it's not quite here yet. And also on Spotify and Beatport and places like that. But yeah. And then all your favorite clubs because... Yeah, all, well, hopefully. All the, DJs, <laughs> all the DJs are using your killer bomb weapons. They've yeah. definitely helped my sets, I won't lie. Oh, cool, thank you. No, I'm happy, you know, a lot of people have been into the album. People like uh, Andy Weatherall or Marcel Detman. Uh, Ryan Elliott, Radio Slave, um, yourself. So yeah, I'm really, really happy and uh, yeah, excited to have people, you know, DJs that I love and respect uh, playing my records. It's always a, a nice thing, you know? Well, every time I play your tunes, whichever one it is, um, there's always like, everyone's always like, what was that track? What, what's this track? What's this track? And I was like, well. <laughs> Another Give Spencer. me a pen and paper. Another Spencer. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. Even when um, so I was posting on Instagram like videos of me playing your tracks, and even yesterday, even though you were tagged and everything, people were like, "What's the track ID?" I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, just another, uh, look him up." Another look rubbish one from Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, donc euh, je veux rapide traduction euh, Spencer vient de sortir son deuxième album euh, qui contient que des bombes et qui est soutenu par tous les meilleurs DJ et je lui disais que euh, pour moi c'est clairement euh, c'est lui qui me fournit toutes mes armes secrètes pendant mes DJ sets tout le monde me demande toujours oh, qu'est-ce que c'est que ce track et ben le secret secret is out le secret euh, vous le savez maintenant c'est Spencer Parker mon secret um, what else do you have planned until the end of the year Um, I'm visiting uh, Colombia for the second time. I'm going to Bogota uh, to play like a, a, a couple of parties for Off Sonar. Um, yeah, going back to uh, Porto, uh, which is a city I really love. And then um, I'm playing at the Warehouse Project in Manchester for um, uh, Denny Salter. He's like programmed a night and invited me there. So I'm off to there and also uh, Glasgow for a night called Feed Your Head in Glasgow. And um, there's a few more, but I can't quite, I'm yeah. not exactly sure where they are. <laughs> I can't remember People exactly. People will just have to look you up. <laughs> Um, donc euh, je lui demandais un petit peu si, les, quelles étaient ses actus jusqu'à la fin de l'année euh, donc Spencer va jouer au Warehouse Project à Manchester il va jouer à Glasgow à une soirée qui s'appelle Feed Your Head il retourne à Bogota euh, il retourne en Colombie pour la deuxième fois de sa vie il va jouer à Porto aussi puis il a plein d'autres dates mais évidemment c'est beaucoup plus simple d'aller sur Resident Advisor et regarder son agenda plutôt que d'en parler comme ça au pied levé euh, je, vous je vous propose de continuer de nous écouter encore quelques petites minutes et puis ensuite on va passer à notre back to back. I was just saying in French that um, maybe we have like five minutes more chat and then we'll just go back to back. Okay, sure. So I'm curious, what tracks did you, what kind of tracks did you bring? Uh, I don't know. I've got my my USBs here. It's a 256 gig USB. <laughs> right. <Hello. laughs> okay. Tech, you want to get technical on USBs? Who Great. Knows, my right? favorite chat. Um, okay. Who knows what's on there? Who knows what's on there? Um, have you noticed like a crazy resurgence of uh, electro? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think so. What What do you think about it? Well, I'm guilty because I made an electro record on my album. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. In, I mean, I was never like a huge electro fan, yeah, yeah. or I mean, I was a fan of it, and I'm obviously I'm aware of it. But um, yeah, you know, I think after the '90s, the '90s house hype, and the the minimal hype, we're now on the electro hype. But yeah, I mean, I I really like it. You know, 
I won't lie, I live for it. Because <laughs> um, uh, I was an intellectual, you know, when, when Drexia was out originally, sure. I had no idea it was even electro, you know. For me, electro was basically at Banger in right, my mind. Sure. Or like Dr. Dre, um, early hip hop electro. Um, so I kind of discovered that whole electro recently, really. Sure. So all the new productions, I'm like, yeah, feeling it, feeling yeah, it, yeah, I'm with it. Some phenomenal music out there for sure. <laughs> Um, so I brought a bit of that. Okay. So completely guilty. We can roll with that. We can do that. Guilty. <laughs> um, je demandais à Spencer ce qu'il pensait de la, du, de la grosse résurgence de l'électro euh, ces derniers temps. Euh, enfin, s'il l'avait remarqué et ce qu'il en pensait. Il me disait, ah, je suis coupable. Moi-même, j'ai fait un morceau d'électro sur mon album. Euh, et il me disait que voilà, que après la, le, le gros revival de la early house 90s, euh, maintenant, on était passé au retour de l'électro. Euh, et... Euh, et que voilà, c'était cool. Et je lui disais que perso, moi, j'ai décou découvert il n'y a pas super longtemps. Donc moi, je suis à fond dedans en ce moment. Donc j'ai ramené plein de tracks d'électro. Voilà, donc euh, Inch'Allah, on en jouera dans notre set. <rire> I was just saying like, you know, we'll see, but maybe we'll get to play a few electro <laughs> why tracks. Why not, why not? Why not? Um, but uh, there's also a great resurgence of, you know, the disco edits. Yep, true. You I know? think the disco edits are perennial. They never go away. They never go away. They're always, they're always there or thereabouts. Isn't it crazy to think that disco, you know, the disco years, it didn't really, it wasn't really that long, but mm. it influenced so many genres and it's still around today. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. Because to really it. pinpoint disco, it's maybe like five years tops. I think so, yeah. yeah maybe yeah. like, yeah, 75 to 80 or 73, 74 or something. Not even. It's like 77 to like... 80 and then 81 maybe a yeah, bit yeah maybe but, but like, they're just such great you know all those all those records are phenomenally produced the producers that were working then you know like Tom Moulton or Walter Gibbons or any of the others and also the songs there's like you know they're, they're fully produced amazingly produced records and you know written songs which is not an easy thing to do yeah absolutely it's right. like the right balance between like bringing in the human element of vocals sure. and instruments and then yeah totally still catering everything to the dance floor and yeah, the totally. release which i think is amazing. and also you know once you get into also like high energy <coughs> and that sort of stuff as well so yeah totally donc euh, on parlait un petit peu aussi euh, de, de, des édits disco et de la mode de, de tout ça. Il me disait, mais je pense que le disco, ça, ça, ne, ça ne se démodera jamais. Et ensuite, j'ai enchaîné en me disant, euh, bah, c'est pas dingue quand même que le disco, finalement, ça n'a pas duré très très longtemps. On peut vraiment réduire ça à genre, allez, 5 ans maximum, de 77 à 81. Et pourtant, ça a influencé tellement de genres musicaux encore, euh, qui, et ça se sent encore aujourd'hui, que ce soit des édits ou la French Touch ou, ou ainsi de suite. Euh, le disco continue de perdurer et d'influencer euh, les dance floor, que ce soit le high energy ou la tristesse, enfin voilà, tous les producteurs de l'époque. Et, et, euh, et on se disait aussi que c'était le bon équilibre euh, entre euh, l'aspect humain, donc que ce soit des, des, des vocaux ou des instruments joués par des humains, et en même temps de tout ça destiné pour le dance floor. C'est pas phénoménal quand même. Voilà, donc euh, une ode au disco de Spencer et Louise. <rire> I just said that um, we um, we we just literally spent three minutes talking about talking disco up like uh, it was an ode. Our show was like an ode to disco. <laughs> yeah. um, it's always time for disco. It's always time for disco. Yes, brunch hour, disco <laughs> hour. <laughs> should we uh, should we jump on the decks? Let's get into uh, it. Okay, il va me rejoindre donc uh, derrière les platines et puis on va commencer notre back to back. Let's go. Go. Allez le bleu. Remix. Thank you. 
after dark. Radio waves 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 after dark.